man. Shout out to Shug. Shug, man. Glad to see you doing your thing, man. I'm happy, man. I'm happy, man. Congrats, man, on the movie and all that, man. Hey, yo, listen. Make sure y'all go over there and y'all subscribe, man. Go to my son. Matter of fact, y'all can go over there and get the motherfucking movie right now. What's your life like? The movie.com. Y'all can go over there right now. $5 for the rental, $20 for the purchase. I just watched it, and we're going to get into it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it a little bit, but I definitely want y'all to know. You definitely can go over there and spend a little $5 and rent it. You definitely can go buy the movie right now, nigga, and spend twenty dollars and get it. It's forty-eight minutes. It's a short film, but it was good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was good, and I like how he carried it throughout the whole ordeal. But we about to get into all of that. We gonna get into all of that real quick. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna drag it because I know, you know what I mean. It's late. But what I will say is this: a few things that I liked about the movie is one is the music. He was sitting there doing his music and singing and rapping to his music, which is good because he was promoting his own shit. Make sure, if y'all don't know, make sure y'all go over there, you know what I mean? What's your life like the movie.com? Y'all can actually stream the deluxe. Y'all can stream the deluxe and get the get the audio, the soundtrack, you know what I mean? Y'all can get that shit. All that good shit, boy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go over there and support Shug. That's a fact, my nigga. But yo, but in any event, the music, I like the way he did it. Hey, yo, Shug, shorty that was in the movie that played is Monique, the girl that was singing? Boy, she's fire. She can sing, boy. That's a fact. Shorty can really fucking sing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to make sure I let you know that now. The Monique girl, yeah, nigga, she can sing, boy. She's fire. You know what I mean? Another thing I wanted to talk about was, like, as far as the movie goes, it was really on some real street shit. And it was kind of telling a story about how your past can catch up to your future. And I'm sure that everybody can relate to that. Everybody done been through things, you know what I mean, in the past, and then try to get their shit together, and then some old shit you end up got to deal with, or correct, or right the wrong, or however it may have been, or however it may have played out. But we all been through that shit. Like, damn, I got to deal with this shit. They got, I thought I was past this shit. I thought this shit was over with. I ain't even think I, this shit was linked. It happens sometimes. That's life. And that's why I be upset because sometimes I be feeling like niggas don't understand life. But that's a whole nother situation and a whole nother conversation for another time. But I definitely felt like in the movie, you can see where Shotgun Shug was exposing to the world how sometimes your past can alternate your future depending on how you move it. And I felt like that was that was a big part of the movie to me that I liked. Because I be looking for a lot of different things when I pay attention to these different shows and movies. You know what I mean? And as far as me critiquing, I mean, this is just my little critiques. But I like how he did his music in there. And I like how he promoted it. I like it. Because ain't nobody going ain't nobody gonna work more for you than you. You know what I mean? And then as far as the whole your past catching up to your future... The storyline was crazy. It was crazy. You know what I mean? It, and, 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 and for real, for real, I feel like deep down, that nigga could have definitely, you know what I mean? That shit could have been a little bit longer, Shug. Sure. Pause if necessary. You know what I'm saying? That shit was damn near like an hour, man. That shit, man, I, I was like, damn, son. You know what I mean? But another thing I want to talk about, y'all, that I realized in this movie that I liked was this transition. The transition from, not just like from boy to man, but transition more so as far as like leaving one life to another. And I know some may not understand it and can, you know what I mean? But for the ones that do, I want y'all to understand that in, the, in this movie, he kind of painted that picture and made that clear that this was a transitional stage. He was focused on one thing and then something else come around, which is called life. It happens to us all. We all have had those experiences in the past. So his transitional stages in the movie made it fire to me as well. Because I really felt like I could relate to just him trying to do one thing and moving in another direction. Or wanting to move in another direction, but it's hard for him to move from away from this one thing. Like, it, it was, I, I liked it. So the transition thing was something else that I liked in the movie. You know what I mean? But other than that, I really liked too. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. 
the fact that the nigga Suge actually went out his way and accomplished something, and now it is something that everybody is they supporting. I'm sure there's a lot of people that can support a little bit more. I'm sure that there's people that still ain't in tune. I'm still sure that there's people that haven't seen it or watched it yet. But what I will say is this. I have seen a lot of people showing love and supporting. You know what I mean? And that's the, that's the type of shit that's going to keep the culture moving forward. Niggas ain't on that type of shit, boy. This shit going to be clipped. And that's a fact. You know what I mean? But last... I wanted to get into this. Shotgun Sugar. The way that movie ended seemed like it was going to be a part two. I don't want to talk too much and give the movie away too much. You know what I mean? But it seemed like it's going to be a part two. And I'm here for it, boy. You know what I mean? So, I, again, I just want to make sure I shout you out. You know what I mean? You know the vibes already. Salute to my nigga Sugar. You know what I mean? I'm going to definitely have Sugar in the building soon. And make sure y'all go over to What's Your Life Like The Movie.com. Y'all can go over there and purchase the movie for twenty dollars, or y'all can go over there and rent it for fucking five dollars. And I think if you rent it for five dollars, you get it for like two days or something. You know what I mean? Some shit like that. So make sure y'all go over there. Y'all go over there. What's your life like? The Movie.com. And when you spell What's Your Life Like, make sure you spell it with the Y A. What ya? Life like You know what I mean Because it won't work If y'all don't You know what I mean But definitely make sure Y'all go over there And subscribe You know what I mean and, and, and you know Push the culture forward man We showing love and support man You know what I mean But before I get out of here Y'all already know the vibes man It's your boy Quiet FYTV TV Fuck you talking